Hello again. In this video we will be discussing what's commonly referred to as object visibility. In the interest of time I went ahead and created a project and uh, within this project I've created some objects. I created a timer. This is a uh, accumulated on delay with a one second resolution and uh, of course here you can see all the addressing and then on our uh, main window here I have the related objects um, I've got our on bit and our timing bit and our timeout bit our reset bit our preset time set point and our accumulated time and the reason I did this is so that I could have dynamic data to cycle to show you the object visibility functions. So uh, what I'm going to go ahead and, and do is copy these objects and paste them down below here. Now um, within an object we have the security tab and in the Easy Builder Pro, we call it Enable Disable. And the reason for that is we've got, um, depending on the object, we've got different uh, selections available. We can either disable it or hide it um, in some objects, but in the bit related objects, it's basically hide when disabled. Now, we can define a bit that. Um, that relates to the visibility. It can either be an internal bit or a driver bit and you can define the state that it is if it's enabled. So in this case if LB I'm going to do 1. So in this case if LB1 is on then um, this object will be visible. Now on the uh, numeric based objects here we're looking at I'll tell you what let's do our status object LW0 so under the security tab um, on the numeric objects you can either select whether it is a bit or a word trigger so here I'm going to do the same one, LW0, and, um, and you can define in what, under what condition it, the object is visible. Um, so it can be greater than, less than, equal to, not equal to, equal to or greater than, or equal to or less than. So here I'm just going to say if it is greater than 5 and um, then this will be visible and of course on this one if uh, LB1 is on then this object's visible so let's go ahead and uh, run a simulation So now you see, um, of course, here LW0 is less than 5, so it is not visible. And uh, LB1 is off, so it is not visible. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start our timer. So we're greater than 5 and we're showing here. And we timed out. So now LW1 is on and it's visible. Hit a reset and so that went off. We went below 5. And now LB1 is on. So it's as simple as that.
Thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos.